this is one of the highest elevations in Smith County. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. On their 600-acre ranch just northeast of Tyler in Winona, and we may go Larry and Sandra James created paradise. Hey, big baby. Hey, Pico. It's beautiful. A lot of rolling hills and green grass, and uh, up until about two or three years ago, great smell. Out of nowhere, this beautiful paradise just suddenly became enveloped in clouds of, of stench. Everything changed for us. That was unlike anything we'd ever smelled before. They'd soon realize that smell was coming from this, a chicken farm with hundreds of thousands of birds less than a mile from their ranch. They put these chicken houses in the middle of a residential community. People that have worked hard all their lives, it's not right what they're doing. Ooh, I can smell it. I can smell it now. Neighbors Tom and Loretta Cowens live near the farm, too. It's sometimes just unbearable. It burn your eyes, burn your nose. You taste it. When I opened the door, mm -hmm. I was like, OK, this is what they're talking about. Can you imagine having one of our grandchildren's birthday party at our house and say, pass the cake and smell this? No. The chickens belong to Sanderson Farms, the nation's third largest poultry producer. The 16 chicken barns and land itself belong to farmers that Sanderson contracts with to grow its chickens. When they're big enough, the chickens are taken nine miles west to Lindale, to this processing plant before eventually landing in your grocery store. Gifts of the earth combined with gifts of the spirit. This is what you see in Sanderson Farms commercials. Everywhere a happy chicken, E-I-E-I-O. Industry and corporate America wants to paint good old fashioned red blooded American farming. That's not what this is at all. This is corporate farming. What is that? Chicken manure. These images are graphic. They were taken by a former employee and are part of a lawsuit he filed alleging bad working conditions. These farms are what's known as concentrated animal feeding operations. And the Winona farm is one of hundreds operating in Texas. Neighbors have filed several lawsuits against Sanderson Farms, including one in Henderson County. In that suit, Sanderson Farms officials and their contractors testified about the operation. Each of the barns contains about 27,800 chickens. That's more than 400,000 chickens total for all 16 barns. You have diarrhea coming out of a bird, 27,000 of them every day, all day. Those chemicals build up inside that house and they have to be exhausted to protect the birds. So when you're talking about hundreds of thousands of birds, the neighbors then get to deal with the hydrogen sulfide, methane, ammonia, any number of chemicals that you don't want to be breathing in. The second problem, when you have this many animals, some of them die. Over a 60-day growing cycle, as many as 5% of the chickens die, or more than 20,000 dead chickens. I've seen birds left for dead for days on end. They're stuck without food, water, either leaving them there to rot or buried alive. Texas law allows a grower to compost those birds, trying to rot the birds down there's a chemical reaction inside that compost. So all that rotting dead compost smell also gets disseminated to the neighbors. Come here, Blanca. Come here. After the Winona farm moved in, the Jameses complained to the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. They met with Sanderson Farms officials. We wanted to believe that we could all work this out. 
before we have to go get lawyers. What we did not know at the time is that we have one year to file action against any chicken farm that goes in. The Texas Right to Farm Act gives neighbors like them one year from the time a farm begins operations to file a nuisance lawsuit. If they don't, they are barred from suing later. Neighbors often don't know when a chicken farm started operation, and no law mandates neighbors be notified. That time they waste hoping they can work out the problem is then used against them if they don't file that suit. The Jameses did make the filing deadline. Within that one year, we and all of these neighbors filed suit against Sanderson Farms. We said, okay, we'll join in. I take a little part of Texas. Tom and Loretta Cowens live on 17 acres right next door to the farm, just beyond a patch of trees. Our property borders, and sometimes it gets so bad, it will permeate into the house. It's just kind of depressing. We asked Sanderson Farms about the complaints from neighbors, as well as the images and videos recorded by the former employee. They told us, it is our company policy that we do not comment on pending litigation. In court filing, Sanderson Farms denied the allegations made by residents. I was the CEO of a publicly held company, and if my company had done this, I would damn sure have done something about it. Either shut it down or do something to stop this pain that they're delivering to hardworking people. In Winona, I'm Tanya Iser.